Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. So I'll, I created this video so I can share my experiences and some of the things that I've done in order for me to earn all of my certifications. So in the past, I got on this certification kick for a lot of the industry standard certifications out there for like IT side and business side. So some of the certifications that I hold are CompTIA's A+, Security+, Plus, Network+, Plus, Cloud+, Plus, and a few others from their Project+. Plus. And then I also hold some certification from PMP, P, from PMI organization. I'm also a black belt with Six Sigma ASQ organization. So several, a lot of uh, certifications. So I went through this period in my life about a few years back where I was laid off and I wanted to take some time off and actually get the certifications saying that I had knowledge within these and experience within the area. Prior to that, what's happened was I've just been working for so many different companies and without worrying about any of that. but. I finally decided I wanted to get that on paper and that's why I did it. It's certification is not a must have. It it helps a little bit, but again, certifications are not as in my opinion as strong as your per or experiences with within the field. So most companies that I've dealt with out there they seem to really like the certifications but you know you want the experience behind your certifications as well so anyway some of the certifications that I can go over I can go through some different websites here's my certifications from PMI okay so acclaim holds about 13 of my um, certifications and since then since then, I've actually let CompTIA expire because for me, I was never actually IT guy to core. So I studied it just so to see if I can pass the exam, to assess the exam, how hard it would be. That was the only reason why I actually did CompTIA side. And obviously, few still are not expired, but you know, holding like 16, 17 different certifications, trying to re-up that on every two years or three years or five years, depending on certifications, that's that could actually cost you a lot of money trying to maintain those. So definitely my advice on certification is pick a couple of certifications that you really, it's related to your specific field and go with those and maintain those because every certification or majority of the certifications out there they don't they're not lifetime and you have to re-up it periodically by doing continuing education or maybe taking some college courses or doing other things that's related within the field so there's different ways to update that and my other videos that i'm going to upload are going to have those type of criteria for specific certifications. So basically this video is introductory video on my certifications and then other videos that's coming up after this are the ones that I'm going to go into specifically. So basically I got some PMI, PMPs here. You can see I got uh, PMP as a very uh, pretty strong certification you can get it it actually requires you to have been in that field and worked in that field have some experience with them before they even allow you to take that and then there's your um, CompTIA certifications which pretty much if you have the knowledge and you feel comfortable you can go out there and take it there's also Cisco certifications I believe I got CCNA I don't think I ever picked up CCMP but um, yeah, CCNA itself. Now, one of the harder certifications that I did take was my ASQ certification, which was the Six Sigma Black Belt from ASQ. And that was definitely 
one of the harder ones I've actually taken. Now let me block you off for a second while I log into the site. So let's log in here and it should have my information as far as uh, my certification go. My certification I believe is right here. Okay, so this particular certification, Six Sigma Black Belt, I actually got it back in 2017, May 18th. And then it expires three years. So you have time to re-up it and there's some other things that you need to do in order for you to get that maintained. So there's PMI, there's that. I also have few, another certification from Apex, which is your CSCP, Certified Supply Chain Professional. And that's also another one of those certifications where you have to maintain as well. And so overall, yes, it did take me, I think, when I was taking these exams, I was taking them back to back to back to back, just constantly taking an exam, finishing it, studying it for the next one and just finish. I think it actually took me close to about a year and a half, two years, but it didn't, it, it was not a lifetime thing that I was doing. It was just uh, something I did within a period of, yeah, about one or two years. Also, there are a few other certifications I picked up, which is SAP. And this is something that I picked up because I was involved in some sort of a veteran training program and I was able to get these. And now I work in this field as well. And it's been really great for that particular certification. I also have Agile certification along with my Scrum Master certification. Uh, Scrum.org, one of the guys there, actually I emailed one of the trainers there asking about a spot that was open, and they gladly returned an email offering a free class for me to attend because I was a veteran. And that was also another one of those things I really appreciated for them reaching out and giving me hands for that particular certification. Now, one thing I do want to share with you all is that I'm not sitting here to tell you guys, oh, I did this, I did that, I got so many certification. I'm not trying to boast myself on any of the certifications that I got. Reason why I'm doing this, another reason of mine is to maybe to get those of you that's out there that's thinking about certification, you know, it's really not that hard if you go after it. So maybe this video will get somebody going and maybe get their journey started on getting their certifications. So please don't take it the wrong way. I'm not trying to show off by any means here. Anyway, welcome to the channel and this basically goes over how I got my certifications and how to maybe share some experiences on specific certifications for any of you out there trying to get one of these certifications as well. So thank you and see you soon.